My name is Shifty and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. My name is Alyssa, also known as Shifty, and today we are starting season two for my sim series Naomi. This will be the final season of Naomi, but don't worry guys, I will be stretching out these episodes as long as I possibly can, and so you guys will get to see Naomi for a long time here on the channel. But before we get into anything with this Let's Play, I do want to give a verbal thank you to my amazing friends Ocean, Savvy, Spring Sims, Miss Bonnie, and Prismatic Simmer for helping helping me with my trailer that I put out last week. It was so fun to work with you all and it was really cool to see all of it come together. I remember doing it and planning it and I was like, oh my gosh, this could never happen. I could never do something like this. And then when I finished editing and I put the product out, I was really, really happy with the way that it turned out. And it just made me feel so happy to be able to work with some people that I've known for years and some of you guys who are just really new in my life. I thank you all so much for helping me and just being amazing. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for helping me with the trailer. I also want to say thank you to you guys for supporting the series and loving Naomi as much as you do. Without you guys, season two wouldn't have been possible. And so thank you so much for supporting Naomi and loving her story. So let's go ahead and get into this. I have attempted to record this at least four times and I was like, you know what? Let's just be, let's just be casual. Let's just go for it. It's episode one. I wanted to feel very relaxed and just hop into it really. I do have some things that I still need to finish up for this series. So if you see certain stuff like in the house, like the shelves behind us are very bare. I am planning on filling it in. It's just, I've been doing a lot of sim preparation and so I haven't really focused on the environment. So disregard the empty shelves. <laughs> but as mentioned, this is season two. So if you have not seen season one of Naomi, I highly, highly, highly recommend you go watch it because there are going to be spoilers in this season. And also you might need season one to connect the dots for certain things that that may seem very vague in this season and so if you would like to go back and watch that again i highly recommend it there's a lot of tea a lot of drama a lot of detail going on in season one and you will get to know naomi very very closely i also have a little bit of a prequel current household where you guys can see naomi when she's in her younger years of being in her early 20s and what actually happens between her and angelo in the beginning stages so let's talk about season two. Season two of Naomi is going to be following Miss Naomi Card, of course. She is in her mid 40s and she's entered the world of modeling again. This time she's not a model herself, she's actually a fashion agent and she's running her own agency, which by the way currently does not have a name. So if you guys have any suggestions for Naomi's fashion agency, please leave them down below. I would love to have you guys collaborate with me on this because I have no idea what to call it. It's currently just called Naomi's Models for the club. So if you guys have any name suggestions, please comment those down below. Naomi knew that she wanted to come back into the world of modeling, but she had no idea what she wanted to do. She's in her mid 40s and so doing modeling full time would just not be something that would work out for her life right now. It's just not something that she wanted to do full time in her 40s. And so she wanted to know, what could I do that is still in the world of fashion, but not have me modeling? And her friend Nikita actually suggested that she become a fashion agent. And so that is where it was born. Her ex-husband actually gave her some settlement money from their divorce, and she was able to open up her own business with that and to have a location for her models to be at. And the whole reason as to why she wanted to become a fashion agent is because she remembers how stressful modeling can be and how strict it can be and she wanted to create an environment for people who also share the love of fashion and want to do modeling full-time and want to have a very relaxed and happy experience in the modeling industry and so Naomi has created a safe space basically for these models and she just wants them to have fun and really love themselves and the body they're in and just have a positive experience. Naomi is currently living in Coverdale with her fiance Angelo because she could no longer live in that apartment. She loved living in the city, but honestly guys, it was just so invasive. People were constantly knocking on her doors, the neighbors were loud, and it just was not the vibe. They will be living together once they get married, but until then, I just want to experience Naomi's life of living on her own for a little bit longer. You guys will get a little bit of a tease as to what life's like with them two living together here in the first few episodes, but I'm hoping to have her moved in by episode four. 
Now, when the episode started, I had a little bit of a machinima intro there. You guys saw Naomi and Angelo kind of cuddling in bed, and then he came into the kitchen and he was going out for his morning jog. He is actually back into photography, and he has a project that's coming up very, very soon within like the next day that he has to be flying out to Mount Komorebi. And he asked Naomi to come with him, but unfortunately, she's completely swamped with work and also in her personal life. Her son Corey is getting married, and so she has a lot of things to help him out with that and so she will not be able to fly out with Angelo but typically she would go on these trips with him. But Naomi is here in the kitchen. She's currently making some bagels as a thank you and appreciation treat to her co-workers at the modeling agency. So for those of you who watched the trailer, technically that is the event that occurred last night and so it is the next day afterwards and she just wants to say thank you and just say I appreciate your hard work. You guys did an amazing job kind of thing. And so she's bringing in some bagels this morning. I think I might make another set. I'm not sure. One might be fine. So we'll have to see. But Alicia, I was actually going to have her come down here because Naomi wanted to talk to her before she went to school. Alicia's actually going to be heading out the door here soon because she has class in the next few minutes. But I wanted Naomi to grab her because Naomi notices that, you know, things are still tense between them and she really wants to repair that dynamic. And so she's going to come over here and I'm actually going to have her have a deep conversation with Alicia. And she's like, hey, your, your dad's going to go out of town here soon. <laughs> First of all, she's going to give her a hug because that's just how Naomi is. Um, but she's like, hey, your dad's going to be going out of town very soon. And I was wondering if you wanted to check out the new art gallery that opened up in the city. And Alicia's like, well, um, I just need to make sure I have time in my school schedule and, you know, make sure I get my homework done. And of course, I would I would love to go with you. And Naomi's like, OK, just make sure you pencil me in. You know, I'll even buy us some treats in the city and just prepare to have some fun. But Alicia's on her way out the door to class. Angelo should be coming back from his jogging trip very, very soon. Um, but Naomi has her baked goods ready. I think she's just going to stand here and talk to Miss Isabella for a little bit. Isabella is Angelo's mom, for those of you who possibly skipped over season season one um but i'm just gonna have her give her a um a big hug this morning and just say good morning yes angelo just got back from his jogging trip the cat that is laying on the counter oh my gosh i forgot to introduce you guys to the cat so this is pockets alicia named this cat pockets because of all the loose skin <laughs> it's just a thing but pockets is alicia's sphinx cat and her dad wanted to get her you know a companion that she could have here in Copperdale because she was still getting acquainted with everyone here since then she's made a lot of new friends but um, pockets has been keeping alicia a lot of company and then of course we have wallace this is naomi's corgi he is so so cute he's still in his christmas sweater i need to get wallace out of his christmas sweater because he definitely doesn't need that it's actually been really warm here lately in copperdale but naomi is gonna give miss isabella a hug and um angelo like i said just got back from his jog so i do think that you know he's like hey do you want to grab coffee at some point today you know i'd really like to spend some time with you before i go you know love days tomorrow that kind of thing and he's just trying to get a word in but his mom is over here just chatting up his fiance's ear these two have always been super super close and so it is rather cute just to see her you know bonding and kind of very politely ignoring her fiance because she she just wants to talk to her mother-in-law um but yeah let's just go ahead and give him a hug and a kiss before we go let's see what should we do we should probably kiss his cheek and then i will have her just give him a warm embrace <laughs> Um, she's like, hey, babe, I'm going to be heading out to work soon, um, but I love you. And yeah, we can totally grab a coffee. Just uh, just text me when you're on your way to the agency.
So Naomi thought she was really surprising her co-workers when in fact they were surprising her. She's like, I cannot believe you guys planned this and you surprised me like this. I was making you guys bagels all morning and Monique was like, girl, you know we got you. Of course we have to celebrate your first fashion show. Like you know you work so hard and angela was texting us letting us know when you were here and so we got everything ready but but we're we're so excited for you and naomi's like yeah i can't believe we've already com completed the first year oh my gosh this is so crazy and naomi and monique are having a seat at the table because naomi is asking about the application that monique was suggesting she's like hey did you get in touch with her and monique's like oh of course like you know i don't usually recommend people and put my word on it but i think this girl is gonna be great and she's like, I forwarded it to your email if you could look at that for me. And Naomi looked at it and she's like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to meet her. I think that she's going to be a great addition. And Monique's like, yeah, did you see? She's all the way from Winford, just like Angelo. And Naomi's like, oh my gosh, you know I'm a sucker for the accent. <laughs> she's like, so I think I'm going to like her even more because of that. But oh my gosh, this is so exciting. We're going to have a new person joining our family, hopefully, if um, if she likes it here. And Monique's like, yeah, and she's got such a beautiful face and her personality just shines straight on through. I talked to her on the phone and, you know, I think you're really going to like her. But Monique did go ahead and tell Naomi that the girl who was interviewing today was going to be late. As you guys can see, it's raining pretty hard outside. She said it was due to the weather, but she's really looking forward to her interview and she cannot wait to get here and talk to Naomi. So Naomi is just going to go through some emails while she waits for her. And while she does that, I wanted to show you guys what this agency looks like because I'm so proud of it. Even our secretary is up here celebrating, like, we love this. But this is what the upstairs looks like. Now, this is not our permanent home. We, of course, want to relocate and expand as, you know, as soon as we can. But this is where we have our interviews and we talk and we discuss things. And even behind the table is a whiteboard where they can just write their availability and you know just and where they can plan and just collaborate with one another over here we have some clothes on the clothing rack and then on this wall here i would imagine that this is just like personal photos from everyone's lives at home um, and naomi just wants them to always have a sense of home here on the wall so she put these pictures up for them and then over here we have a runway which is actually functional if you have a pose you can actually get a model to walk down here or you can just walk down here casually if you'd like. Coming straight downstairs, this is our kitchen area. We do have an espresso machine as well as vending machines. That way, if they wanna eat a snack or if they didn't bring lunch today, they do have access to snacks here. And coming through that room and into these doors here, we have the photography studio. This is Angela's space because of course he's going to help out his fiance. Like that's just who he is and that's how it's going to be. But he has some extra equipment here. You know, when he comes in, he does the headshots or just the photos for their portfolio. And so I just, I wanted to make this feel like this is definitely a space that Angela works in with all the dark contrasting colors. And it's just, it's a whole vibe. Like I, I look forward to coming in here and taking pictures of the model coming out we have a bathroom in the door right here this is actually a little bit of a pay homage to nikita i wouldn't say that naomi picked it out for that reason but for me it's there nikita actually is the reason that naomi got back into modeling and is the reason naomi went into modeling in the first place and so nikita if you guys have ever seen her she has a tiger tattoo down her back and so i put this little wallpaper up of these tigers because i thought it would be cool just to look at this and every time i see it i think of nikita Coming back out, if we go to the main entrance, this is what it looks like. The secretary is usually sitting here answering calls, um, scheduling people, or just managing things for Naomi. I just wanted it to be very simple, very black and white, very to the point. We have this pop of color for the plant, but other than that, it's just pretty, pretty straightforward. And of course, this is what the waiting room looks like. We have pops of color in here, and then on the wall, we have pictures of all the models. Um, I really like having this that way everyone who comes in can see who works here and eventually I hope to grow this wall and have more people on this wall but right now these are the people that we're starting out with. I'm so excited to have their pictures here. But while everyone was upstairs partying, Miss Jayla, our interviewee, actually just let herself in. I, had, I think she's just going to wait for the secretary to come back upstairs. She just popped upstairs for a moment to grab something to eat, but she should be back shortly. But this is Jayla. I kind of teased at her in the community tab and I put the caption as soon. So this is the role that she is going to have here on the channel. She's in my series Naomi and she is the model that Naomi is interviewing today. A little bit of fun fact about Jayla Jayla. 
they were actually, when she was younger, she used to see the photos of Naomi and the old runway videos where Naomi used to, you know, model and everything like that. But she cannot believe that she was able to make it here to San Marcino all the way from Windenburg to actually interview with the Naomi card. Like she can't believe she's here. The secretary told Jayla to go ahead and head on into the kitchen area that Naomi would be doing the interview here. And normally Naomi interviews in her office, but it, it's just so small that the camera just keeps flying up and down. So we're going to have the interview here. But Jayla is just sitting here. She's freaking out. She's like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm here. I need to calm down. Calm down, Jayla. Oh my gosh, Naomi's here. Okay, get yourself together. Get yourself together. <laughs> let, me, let me just stop. Naomi's like, hey, how's it going? Jayla's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was just... Oof, I'm just a little nervous. But Naomi looks at Jayla and she's like, honey, don't be nervous. I'm so happy to have you here. Just just picture me like you're talking to a friend. Like, no need to be anxious and don't apologize for being late. I, I know the weather is crazy, so just, it's all right. And Jayla's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Yeah, it was it was hard to get on the subway. It was so backed up and everything was just running behind. And I'm so sorry. I, I really apologize, especially since I might be a little wet from the rain. And she's like, oh, no, no, it's okay. So... Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why are you here? What do you love about modeling? I kind of got an overview of your application, but I want to hear it from you. And Jayla just goes to tell Naomi, she's like, well, first, I'm such a fan. I used to watch your shows all the time when I was a kid and I saw your pictures and you were kind of my inspiration. And I just, I always wanted to do modeling. It looks so fun. And I've always had a sense for fashion and expressing myself. And so I really couldn't see myself doing anything else. And I'm just... I can't believe I'm here talking to you. This is so surreal. And Naomi's like, well, thank you. Thank you for supporting my work and, you know, loving me. I, I appreciate that. And she's like, I don't hear that very often. She's like, oh my gosh, how do you not hear that? She's like, you were amazing, especially, you know, when you were doing modeling. I was just always so amazed by your walks. And I used to practice. And before my mom passed, um, she used to always just say, you're going to be a model one day, sweetie. And maybe you'll get to meet her. And she would be so happy to know that I finally got to meet you. But Naomi expresses her sympathy for the loss of her mother, and she's like, oh, it's okay. Um, I still have my dad and my sister. They're back at home in Windenburg, you know. Um, they're so excited to see, like, how this goes and how my journey is here in the city and if I get the job. And Naomi's like, well, honestly, honey, this was just me coming down here to meet you face to face. I would love to give you the position here, you know, with the rest of us as models and we would love to have you join our team. Just like, I knew right away if Monique is going to recommend you that you should work here because Monique, she doesn't usually recommend just anyone. So I think she could tell right away. And but Jayla's like, you really mean it? I can work here. Are you sure you want me to join your team just like that? And Naomi's like, oh my gosh, of course, dear, you're perfect. I think that you'd fit in really well here. And if you'd like, you can actually stay and hang out with us for a little bit we're actually celebrating our recent show and Jayla's like oh my gosh I watched it it was so cool to see everybody wearing all the sin tape pieces that was just amazing and she's like yeah and now you get to be a part of the next one so what do you say you want to come upstairs and hang out with us for a little bit get to know everybody the other models and everything I'm sure that they'd love to meet you Jayla's like yeah just uh just let me go freshen myself up she's like okay take your time Jayla's in the bathroom freshening herself up and Monique is like, so what did you think about her? And Naomi's like, oh my gosh, I love her. I love her style. I love her look. I love everything about her. Thank you so much for recommending her. And Monique's like, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm going to head back upstairs, get the music going. But Naomi is just going to sit here and wait for Jayla. Jayla's in here freshening up. She is so excited. I think that she might even go to her phone and probably send a text to her dad. She's just going to say, hey, dad, I... I got the job. I can't believe I'm going to be modeling for Naomi Card. Like, this is so crazy. And she just is so excited. She probably even texted her sister, but we're going to go ahead and head on in here and head upstairs to meet everybody. Jayla's so excited. She cannot believe that she's going to officially be a part of the agency. Naomi's like, I cannot believe how successful today was. Today was so great. Um, celebrating the show with everyone and Having a new model join our team, I'm so excited to get to know Jayla, and Monique's like, me too, I think that she's going to be great, and Naomi's like, but if, you know, it's getting a little late, uh, tell Jayla she can hang out as long as she wants with you guys, and if she needs anything to text me, okay, but she's like, is it okay, can you close up, I gotta head home, Angelo has been texting me, I actually missed her coffee date, because, you know, we've just been so busy, but... I gotta start discussing wedding planning and things like that. So I'm gonna go home before I before he leaves for his trip.
he always like, hey, I'm sorry I missed our poppy date. And he's like, it's okay. He's like, we're going to play this game of pool. And if you lose, <laughs> you owe me another one, okay? And he was like, okay. <laughs> but I have a feeling you're going to lose. <laughs> you have to meet the new model that joined our agency today. She is so sweet. And just like, really? I'm so happy for you. I'm glad she turned out okay. And Naomi's just sitting here thinking. She's like, I cannot believe how far my life has come. Like, this is so crazy. And, you know. I can't believe where I'm at now. Like, she really is just reflecting on her life right now and just having such a good time with Angelo. So guys, I am going to go ahead and stop this episode right here. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I apologize. First episodes are usually super chatty and not as much story, but next episode will be very story driven. I hope that you guys liked it regardless. And don't forget to comment down below and engage with me and others down there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching the first episode. And if you enjoyed it, like I said, leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to become a tugboat if you aren't one already. And I will be seeing you all next time. Bye everyone.